Hello, John Neal here again, chalkboard artist, sign writer. I've got a board to do for a uh, butcher, uh, Aubrey Allen, the best butcher in the UK, by the way. This is a board I've done already for Monday. It's Mother's Day. And on the other side, I previously had done Valentine's Day. Mostly with the brushes, you can see. Rather like that design there, of the heart shape. That's from their own design. So that one's old, they're going to keep that for next year. This one I've done already, this is new. And then I've yet to do Easter. So we'll do that one in a moment. Sorry about the hat, but it's very cold. It's the end of February and it's a bitterly east wind coming over from Russia. Thank you for the Russians. Uh, I don't think they bought my DVD yet. Oh, the DVD, yes. Thanks for bringing that up. The DVD is a download, it's not a, an actual DVD anymore, it's a download. You can order it from my website, which is here. Thank you, jrnimages.co.uk. And uh, yes, thank you for those who have bought it already. I had one or two inquiries, and uh, um, thank you for those, and some examples of the work that other people have done around the world. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get on with the board. Just get on with the sign right and I hear you say. Okay, on with the magic cape of course. Sorry about the hat. But uh, when you've got that much hair, I think it's God's message, his way of saying buy a hat. So I have. And grow a beard, which I've also done. But first of course, tea. Does that say Abbey Road Studios? <laughs> yes it does. It's a long story. It's a good story, but a long story. Okay, Easter. Coming close. <clears throat> the first thing I need to do is put Aubrey Allen across the top here. I've done it quite a few times so I know what it looks like. It's got a little uh, serif on the start, otherwise it's very straightforward. And this is a copy of the font they've used. And it looks like this. message on this board is going to be order now ready for Easter in big letters uh, fresh free-range turkey ducks Cornish lamb and so on down here so I'm going to make this word Easter the main part in big green letters maybe with some white around it maybe in white first and some green later um, so I know this is going to be brushwork and fairly elaborate so this first piece here Against that brushwork, I'm going to use just a pen. So order now in time four. Order now in time four. Here we go. Then Easter. Notice the speed at which this goes. You can always go over again. Partridge may have gone a little bit weak. But there's a certain speed to that, which is what I want to achieve. Next, I'm going to put the word Easter across here. I'm going to use white and put some green on it later. But I'm going to use the same brushes up here, chisel shaped. Okay, here we go. Notice it's got this waist feel, which I rather like. Have serifs as well. Now that one I'm going to leave for a minute. give the whole uh, word a similar feel. You 
You must learn where the, the serifs go. Certainly you can put that there, but the serifs go down the serifs are these little pieces that stick out at the bottom. They're almost like bricks on a, a building, I rather like them. Well on the A, they don't go over, it doesn't go over there, it only goes over there. I'm going to do them curved. Like that. Get rid of that in a minute. E A S. <clears throat> right, S is tricky. Okay. You can afford to take S out of the lines, but here is still okay. This is the 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 widest part of the S. That is the thinnest, so it stays that shape there, and then goes thick there. Thick to there, and then the finish just there and at the top. The difficulty, of course, is that that inside line then becomes the outside line. Now, if we just slightly turn those in so that so it goes there, and that one there, then that will be good. E A S T. Tidied most of this up with white and in particular the black because you can, if you're working on black, it's very really easy just to put a black edge around right and get some really tight lines here, which is good. And I've used it along the bottom and top edge as well. Alright, a secret weapon. I'm going to put green as a shadow, but I've got this grey and I'm going to put grey on the left hand lower side of all the letters. Show you on this letter A here. So there. Not quite on the E. Can you even just smudge it around a bit? Again, I can tie it with a, a white later. smudgy effect. I'm now going to use a white just to highlight where the join would be. If this, if this letter A here had a, a highlight down the middle of it, it would be there and tailing off there and off in those directions. So let's put that all the way across here. Now also with the black, a trick that I've used before, and that's to put a, a bit of a shadow underneath these parts here. And that's some green, green and yellow. I've got a yellow idea there. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Um, using a brush to put a shadow. Again, if the light was coming from this direction, the shadow would be on the left and underneath. So it would go here. The other advantage of using a brush, of course, is you can just add some white to start to put quite a nice highlight on these corners. I'll put white, pure white on in a minute. So this is just a mix of that original green and some white. And this is all on the corners that it might be caught by a light coming from this direction. And finally of course a little pure white on that and now it's dry.
the word fresh with a brush nice and loose it's a fresh word so Now here we've got to have turkey and duck and I'm going to use this same brush but make it a little bit more uh, script like. I love the way you can just touch with the brush first and get this serif touch. Get those tops as well. And then on the K, of course, got plenty of room here just to swoop round. Excellent. Cornish lamb. Just Cornish lamb, check my notes. Yes, yeah, Cornish lamb. Ribs of beef, dry aged ribs of beef. Okay, I have one more message down here, full range of deli products, but it's a bit low down, so I'm actually going to put the board up and put it over here. And to match with the green up here, I'm going to use a green pen. Put this on an angle and full range of deli products. I could be delicatessen, but I'm going off the room. And full range of. Right, deli. I'm going to put it nice and carefully. Like High waist. Right up there, like an Edwardian dress. I'll leave the flourish to that for a moment. We have a bit of space here, I'm going to sit a chick on it. A very expensive piece of equipment. Finger. You need to know how to draw them a bit, of course, but basically it's a shape that, like that. So two blobs circular there, put some legs on in a moment, but meanwhile let's just dry that off a bit and start flicking it outwards, because they're just fluffy little balls and that's all they are. And then we get a, we can't actually draw it black on there so I have to put this on with white. Have to be white. How about that?